Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gary. Sometimes I like to record videos about makeup amongst other things, and I'm back. And today I wanted to have a little life discussion about what's been going on with me, plus a kind of a haul video about stuff that I've received um, while I was kind of sick and away, and then some of the stuff I got in the mail. So it's a little bit of everything, so I hope you stick with me throughout this. I'll probably just be babbling a lot, but you'll get to see some stuff along the way. So as you may or may not have known, a few weeks ago I talked about, I think in my Pac-Man video, how I was sick the week prior or the week before that. I'd gotten really, really sick. And um, I kind of got over it, but I was still having kind of stomach issues around the lower right side of my abdomen, but I was able to go back to work, things like that. So last Sunday... The Sunday before that, so it was exactly two weeks after that happened, I still was having a lot of pain in my lower right abdomen. And I'd went to work, and I'm a bigger guy, so I sweat, but I was sweating more than normal. And I'd went to work, and I said, hey, I'm going to go to take my lunch early, go to the doctor about 10 a.m. when they open, see if I can figure out what's going on. So I um, went to the doctor, and... As I went, he kind of looked at me, saw I was sweating, asked me a bunch of questions, poked around at a few things, and he just looked at me dead center and he said, you know, I think your appendix has ruptured or is about to rupture. Uh, he said, did you drive? And I said, uh, yes, I did drive. He said, well, I need you to go to the emergency room right away. And um, I really prefer you not to drive. And I said, well, it's just around the corner, around the block, so I should be able to drive. I drove myself here. I live about... 10 minutes from where the doctor actually was so he said I should be fine I still wasn't feeling real well um, so I got there and then I was there for about three hours before I got an answer they checked me in the family care clinic that I'd went to had called and told them I was coming they did a few little basic tests to see what was going on with me and then um, they brought me back and they put an IV on me and they, you know, they did think it was my appendix and all this stuff. So <clears throat> they need to do a CT scan. And I've never had surgery. I don't have diabetes. I've, you know, I don't have high blood pressure that none of that stuff's ever been documented with me. So I've been very lucky in my life with a lot of the stuff that goes as far as surgeries, hospitals, things like that. Basically, I only go once or twice a year, and it's usually because I have a super bad cold, or maybe I get the flu or whatever, but <clears throat> it's been more recent that I've been going for that. But anyway, said so they need to do a CT scan. So they finally brought me back for a CT scan. So at this point, I'd been there for, I'd been gone from work for two and a half, three hours, so I've been texting everybody. Everybody knew what was going on. <clears throat> excuse me so while I was there they um, of course scanned my stomach and all that stuff and they said my scan would be back in 30 45 minutes to let me know what's going on so an hour and a half later I finally find out uh, yes there's a lot of stuff going on you will have to have surgery you'll probably have surgery in the morning I'm like great well you could have told me that 40 minutes ago or whatever so I'm still in the emergency room at that point and then while I'm texting people, my brothers especially, um, that, hey, I'm going to have to have a surgery. I'm still in the hospital. Just to let you know all this stuff. But it's supposed to be tomorrow morning. In the middle of, of uh, texting that, he had told me, you're going to have to have a surgery. We're going to have to check you into the hospital. Um, we'll move you to a different room. So in the middle of texting that, they knock on that door and said, are you ready for surgery? Within five minutes of being told that that was going to happen. So that was news to me. <clears throat> um, so, of course, I had to go through the, all the rigmarole and get all my clothes off and all that stuff. And they will me through the hospital. My little brother showed up about 15 minutes before I got wheeled into surgery. It was kind of that quick. Like, none of us knew, you know, that that was going to happen. So uh, I got wheeled into surgery. They're going to do an appendectomy on me. So he said it could take 15, 20 minutes, or it could take an hour, depending on if there is an infection or if it's ruptured or what they have to do. So <clears throat> I go into the surgery. I get conked out. I was asleep in like 
not even five minutes, I got moved over to the table. And then within probably 30 seconds laying there, I was just gone. Next thing I knew, I was awake. And I'm just like, oh, is it all done? Are we done? Did you get it all? And they're all like, yeah, yeah. I didn't see the surgeon after that. I saw him right before surgery. He told me what his plans were. So I get brought back to the hospital. My little brother comes in. I'm a little groggy. And um, they said they're going to have to keep me for several days and that the doctor would be in in the morning and would talk to me about what was going on. <clears throat> so I didn't really know what was going on. And I knew that I had three holes around my belly button that had staples in each of them. Plus I had a drain coming out from the bottom of my right side of my stomach. So um, they kept checking on me every 20 minutes throughout the entire night, all the way through the morning for when the surgeon came in. In the morning, the nurse came in and said, kind of grabbed my arm and said, you made it through the night. Congratulations. You did a great job. I'm just like, what? I, I was like, what are you talking about? And so apparently this was a lot worse than even I knew. I mean, basically it was just my stomach. I was having a lot of problems. It was hard for me to sit up and down. Um, I wasn't experiencing any fever. Um, yeah, so that was kind of a shock to me. So when the doctor came in, he told me that I had a really bad infection. The infection was so bad that when they were in there to do the appendectomy, they couldn't even see my appendix. No idea. So basically he said, you're going to have to stay in the hospital for up to seven days. We're going to have to get the infection cleared out. And then we can talk about what needs to come next. He did tell me that he wanted me to get a colonoscopy and I will eventually get my appendix out. <clears throat> so they don't know what caused the infection. They just know they needed to get the infection gone. So from that Sunday of going in, I was in the hospital for six days and then I was released. And then um, I did have several visitors, I had several phone calls, people coming to visit me. It was really super nice when the doctor first talked to me that morning. And then my little brother came in. It's pretty emotional because it just like all hit me at once. Um, so I finally got out Friday. Today is Wednesday and I had my follow up appointment. So I got to go home. <clears throat> I'd been up walking around, you know, I ate food for the first five days. I was on a liquid diet. So I literally had ice chips and then I just had fluids is basically all I had. Um, <clears throat> I get home and then I was really sore that night. They gave me two different medications for an infection. And I know it's bad because one of them will help cure or stop the plague from happening and will also help people who have been in contact with anthrax. Wow. Yeah, that's how strong my antibiotics are. So I have two of those I have to take twice a day. Plus they gave me a pain pill if I need it for any reason. So the first few days is really bad. I'm starting to feel better. I still have a lot of pain. Of course, my appendix are still there. I can tell I can still feel them kind of as before. So now they have the colonoscopy planned for six weeks out. And then after that, I have a follow up appointment about a week later. And then hopefully we'll be talking about appendix. So this whole thing is going to be like a three month process. I'm going back to work Saturday. I feel well enough to actually go back to work. <clears throat> so we're going to see how it goes from there. So that's kind of what's been going on with me. That's it's kind of crazy. I've been trying to update on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter, follow me at orbiting live. I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, I've been trying to update about kind of what's going on. And you guys have been so nice about asking, you know, sending a lot of positive vibes my way. And I really do appreciate it. <coughs> it's a hard situation. I've never been through anything like that before. So, um, being laid up for six days in a hospital is it's a lot. It was hard to sleep. Uh, they constantly were in my room, you know, after the first day, it was every three hours. And of course I had getting in and out of bed. I was extremely sore. And then when they took the drain out, they took the drain out on Friday before I went home. Um, I just about <laughs> punched the nurse It hurt so bad. I grabbed her wrist and I apologized to her, but it was so, so painful. Um, but then 
like I said, the thing that I had today was the follow-up. They took my staples out. So that's kind of where I'm at. But while I was in the hospital, I did have several visitors. Some people brought me some wonderful things. I did get some flowers. I'm not going to be able to show you everything that I got. Um, but it truly really touched me what everyone got me. But I did get some... <clears throat> I had some makeup arrive while I was in the hospital. Plus, I did have a few things given to me that is kind of makeup related. And I do want to say, after all this is said and done, I <clears throat> this channel, I made this channel... Not necessarily to be just a makeup channel. This channel, I want to be able to talk about my experiences. I want to talk about music. I want to talk about movies. I want to do everything. So just be forewarned, if you're subscribed to me, I would love to have you subscribe to me. But I'd love to have you subscribe to me for more than just makeup. You know, kind of, if I get excited that I, I've just got some new vinyls and I'm so excited about uh, I have more vinyls coming that I'm super excited about. So you may see some different videos. It's still, there will still be makeup videos because I have more stuff coming. I will, <laughs> I am an enthusiast for makeup. But just so you know, there might be other videos sprinkled in. So please just give me a chance. If you like my personality, you'll hopefully like everything I talk about. So sorry my voice is a little weird. It is what it is. This is the most probably I've talked in like two weeks. So, but while I was in the hospital... Some of this stuff, first of all, my friend Shane brought me this um, adult coloring book with swear words. And it was so good. And so one of them had a picture, of, I wish I would have grabbed it, but it has um, like a sugar skull on it. One of those skulls that you color in, but below it, it said, shit just got real. So that's the one I've been coloring. <laughs> so I appreciate that. That was really funny. And... Um, so some of the girls at work and I had one of my friends had brought me just like a little get well package. So some of this stuff, um, they gave me some clay masks. Like I got this neon vibes clay mask, no stress oil absorbing with blue Lotus from Freeman. I'm excited to try that. Of course they know I love glitter and holographic. So they also got me the cosmic holographic peel off mask. So I'm excited to try that one. You know, I've still got a few days off. So, you know, I'm going to pamper myself. The girls at work also got me a Profusion eyeshadow palette, which I've never tried Profusion. And I've been kind of interested in trying it. It is a cheaper brand. It is available at Walmart. That's where I work. So they got me this festival palette, which has all these gorgeous colors in it. I'm super excited to be able to play around with that. That is exciting. Hopefully you guys aren't bored. Sorry that my story time's a little odd. So, and then um, one of my friends went to Ulta and bought me some stuff. I kind of put it all together, so hopefully I know what came from what here. It's so sweet of everybody giving me this stuff, and I'm going to take advantage of this the next couple of days. First off, every I don't know if you know this, but I love facial sprays. I'm addicted. So... I got this Mario Baduska, Badusku, Badusku, Usku, Badusku, no, Badusku skincare, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. And I love the rose scented stuff. So we're going to spray this right now. It is a little warm in here, of course. I haven't sat in front of these lights in a couple weeks, so I'll just get my little. Madonna fan, fan myself off here. It smells really good, it felt good. I needed that, I needed to be sprayed in the face with something. So that's fabulous. And then I got this Thayer's Natural Remedies Facial Toner Witch Hazel Aloe Vera, Al Aloe Vera Formula with um, Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Vera formula cucumber. This is alcohol free. So you always need a good toner. So I'm excited to try that one. And these some of these brands I've never tried. And I've heard like I've heard of this brand. I've just never tried anything from them. Um I did get a little bare mineral bare minerals prime time original foundation primer. Or just a little sample, which is exciting. I love samples. I love trying out new products. I got this little EOS Organics Pomegranate Raspberry Lasting Hydration Lip Care, which I'm going to try that now. 
because you always need to condition your lips. Let's try this. Oh, it smells good. It smells like, it smells like a raspberry popsicle. It does not taste like one, unfortunately. Whatever. It doesn't have to taste like it, as long as it smells like it. And then I also got, I Do Care Disco Kitten Illuminating Diamond Pill-Off Mask. And it has a little inky face on it so this is exciting oh it's on the lid too How cute is that I've not even opened this to see oh it just looks white and shiny so I'm gonna have to try this one disco kitten disco kitten so that's exciting so I got all that stuff um, I also, I don't know if I talked about this one. This is the Yes to Grapefruit Brightening for Dull and Even Skin Vitamin C Glow Boosting Unicorn Pill-Off Mask. Uh, yes to keeping your eyes peeled on grapefruit and vitamin C to help reveal brilliant glowing skin. I mean, I think my skin looks pretty good, but I've been drinking a lot of water too. So I have a lot of masks and stuff I can play with, so I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna pamper myself, really get myself feeling my extra self the next few days before I go back to work. Um, I went in and fill out like leave of absence paperwork today and had like three people tell me you shouldn't be coming back to work, but I've got to go back to work. I can't just sit around the house. It drives me crazy and I feel well enough to do that. So um, a couple other things that I got, I had ordered a few things, um, which I'm hoping to make additional videos about. <sighs> One of the things is so, you guys know I've talked about Jarred Cosmetics a ton on this um, channel. They had a sale going on. They have a sale going on right now. Um, you can also use code Gary to save 30% off your order. Um, as long as it's not as if you, there's already a sale going on, you can't use it with the sale. So just keep that in mind. But um, during their sale, I talked about how I love their lipsticks. And before, I only had five bullet lipsticks. And they had a sale where it was buy four for 20 or something like that. Um, I did get a PR credit through them. So I used ha I used my PR credit and then I used my own money to fill the rest of it. So I ordered all the rest of the lipsticks that I do not own from them, which is a lot. So I, as you guys know, I love lip products, so I will probably be doing a try-on for that eventually when I can get around to it, um, depending on how I'm feeling, stuff like that, but um, I've got a lot of stuff that I need to play with, so I'm excited to play with that. Um, Jen, if you're watching this, thanks again for those PR credits. It just helps my little collection here, and I'm excited. And check out Gerard Cosmetics if you have not already. Great brand, great products, um, good stuff, great woman. I support her 100%. Just really great. So I have that. And then today, that was in my mailbox two days before I came home. And I thought they would have it on my porch. And I was so worried someone was going to steal it. And they didn't. Because I would have cried like a baby. So I would also ordered from Menagerie. Um, the Well Song palette. I haven't even opened this yet. Where's my la scissors? La scissors. I need to clean my brushes. I'm gonna have to do that when I'm done here. Let's see if I can just pull this out. Okay. So as you know, I already have their um, Dragon Child palette. I have their. Oh my gosh. There's so I have so many palettes, guys. Um, I have like three of their palettes. I love their stuff so far, but this is Well Song. They are vegan and cruelty free. They are an indie brand. They have the cutest packaging. They are very, um, animal conscious, I'd like to say. So this is the Well Song palette. Oh no. 
They have it packaged so good too. So, so this is what it looks like. It did crumble a little bit. But those colors are gorge. So, oh, and I just got rid of the whole thing. So that's that palette. Unfortunately, it just is broke, but. Okay, so something else happened, and before I got my Pac-Man collection, I, of course, sometimes I, you know, post my looks on Twitter and stuff. Sometimes brands will have different things, and they'll say, post your looks, and um, Colored Rain, which is an indie brand, I believe you can also get them at Target now. It is a, um, just a wonderful indie brand ran by a person of color. Um, she is fantastic from what I've seen. I don't know a whole lot about them. I'm still researching them. But they had a post where they said um, something about for those who are 35 and older, post some of your looks. Because they're very inclusive. They really target people of color, but they also um, are trying to show a different, a different range of people. It's not all 12 year olds putting on makeup. It's not all 20 year olds putting on makeup. People who are older do like to wear makeup and sometimes it's different for everybody. So they kind of did that and there's a lot of people that posted, didn't think anything about it. I just said, I'm 41, I'll be 42 at the end of July. <clears throat> so didn't think anything about that. They sent me a message asking if they could send me some PR and that was kind of out of the blue to me. I said, absolutely. So they graciously had sent me, um, I didn't even know it was a PR post. I was just blessed with that. But they sent me all of this stuff here. So this is basically every single lip color that they have. And they also have all these different palettes. We've got the Queen of Hearts palette. We've got the Cheers to Beauty palette. Gorgeous stuff. I'm super excited to try them out. I just, between being sick and everything, I just have not had time. But I am so thankful and blessed to have received this. Of course, I don't know if there's a way for me to go through all of this, but I'm so incredibly grateful. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Um, so incredibly grateful that um, companies do notice people and they do want other people to try out their products. And so I'm super excited about that. Anyway, that's kind of all I got for you. I just needed to do a video to update you guys on what was going on. Wanted to show you some of the new products that I have in kind of a... Uh, just kind of my trajectory that I'm looking for. I'm hoping to sit down and play with some of this makeup. I still have to play with Jawbreaker. I still got to play with um, the Perfusion palette. I still have the Tarte palettes. I still have a lot of stuff I want to play with. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Orbiting Live. Some of that stuff I may play with it. I may not film a video for it, but just to kind of get a feel for stuff. So follow me on there so you can see those pictures. If you like this video or you're interested to see more content from me, whether it be makeup related, about movies, music, reviews, or just life in general from a gay man who's in his 40s, Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification so you're always notified when I upload a new video. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, have you had any surgeries? What was it like for you? Have you tried any of these products? Have you tried Colored Rain? I'm super excited. Uh, let me know what's going on with you. Leave it down below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Everyone have a great day, night, evening, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.